In this video, I am going to show you how to import layers from Esri's Living Atlas layer and make map in ArcGIS Online. First of all, you need to log in to the ArcGIS Online. Then click on the map menu. You will see this screen coming, which is the main map screen of ArcGIS Online. Now let's go to Manitoba. One important thing about ArcGIS Online is you can import different save files or GIS layers shared in Esri's platform, shared by different institutions. Click on add. You can search for layers. You can browse layers in the living at last layer where you can find GIS files shared by various individuals and institutions. You can search with the keywords, for example, Winnipeg. We find here Manitoba's municipal boundaries layer, which is provided by the Manitoba government. Let's add this layer by clicking on the plus sign or button. We can see the layers loaded on the map. Click on details to see the layer. We can see the layer named Manitoba municipal boundary. Just below, there is a topographic base map. You can change the base map by clicking on the base map tab, which is just above the legend, and select the base map that you prefer. ArcGIS Online has some tools for doing analysis. You can see those tools by clicking on the Analysis tab. You can summarize data, find a location, enrich data, analyze patterns, manage data through merge layers, overlay layers, extract data, etc. You will gradually know how to use these tools once you are familiarized with ArcGIS Online. Click on Details. You can see legends on the layer if you click on the legend. This is the Manitoba municipal boundaries. We can change the legend based on the data available. If we click here, it shows legend. This table-like symbol displays the table, which is called an attribute table. This table here down shows the details of the data related to the map. You can see the table title such as names of municipality and other. You can scroll down and see the information. This probably was created in an Excel file, which was then converted into a CSV file and then imported into an ArcGIS software to create shape files. If you click on Drawing Style, you can change the display of your data. It has two options, Unique Symbols and Single Symbol. Let's click on the unique symbol option. It is showing us this information. It has 10 affairs, act, and others. Let's select the different attributes, such as list name. Now it displays the data differently on the map. When we clicked on the list name, it automatically assigned different colors to the municipalities, that is unique symbols. We can edit the labels. We can change transparency, for instance. We can see the names of municipalities below other that are hiding in the map. We can move these names up in the list. You can click on the arrow, it moved up, it moved up again, and it moved up. It automatically assigned a color, but if you click on the individual level, you can change the color that you want. You can fill the color or change the outline and other options such as none and transparency. Click on the symbol, you can select the color ramp that you want. Let's try selecting a color ramp. Let's select this. And then click OK to apply the desired colors and attribute. If we select the single symbol, then ArcGIS Online gives a single color to the map. So one single color to the municipalities. In this case, single symbol makes no sense. So let's choose the unique symbol and click done to apply the color. This is how you can import layers from the living atlas layer in ArcGIS Online and edit for making maps.